सो हेलो एवरी वन एंड टूडे वी विल बी डिस्कसिंग अबाउट द बेसल अकाउट या टूडे टॉपिक इज द बेसल अकाउट्स एंड मैनी ऑफ यू माइट बी नोइंग अबाउट वॉट पर्पज डज दिस अकाउंट्स टू द बैंकिंग इंडस्ट्रीज और द बैंकिंग सेक्टर्स सो नाउ let's see uh, why this uh, basel accord is formed and what does this uh, basel accord actually uh, means so this uh, basel accords were uh, actually actually formed in order to solve the banking problems uh, which were actually facing by the banking sectors uh, uh, during 1980s or in, during uh, 1990s so there was a committee that is uh, the bcbs uh, that is uh, the basel committee uh, on bank supervision this committee was actually formed in 1974 in order to deal with the banking problems with the banking sector was or the industries were suffering at that or uh, at those uh, times so this um, bcbs was actually uh, formed by the member countries uh, uh, of the dif- um, actually by the member countries of the different uh, countries so 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 that uh, this will be in whatever the issues uh, the banking sectors were actually facing will be uh, uh, will be solved by any rules or regulations uh, uh, this committee which were about to uh, this committee were about to uh, form uh, the rules or regulations uh, that they they actually know that uh, <clears throat> if uh, there might be any of the rules which will guide the banking sector in future uh it will uh, uh give some stability in 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 that particular field in uh, whether it is uh, financially or maintaining any maintaining any capital requirements so this uh, committee was actually formed to resolve those problems so this committee actually uh, formed the basel 1 the basel 2 and the basel 3 so when this uh, committee was formed uh, back in 1974 uh, uh, they actually uh, introduced uh, basel 1 in 1988 which um, <clears throat> focused uh, on uh, the first thing is that to maintain the minimum capital requirement and uh, like the objective of the first basel 1 was to maintain the capital minimum you know, capital requirement the other two bases that is the basel 2 and the basel 3 also has uh, their own objectives so so now uh, you might be uh, knowing what uh, purpose does uh, what purpose these uh, basel accords uh, usually provide to the banking sector to the banking industries so you can see in there are three points um, that is uh, the first thing it's telling that it is set up by the basel uh, committee on bank supervision this series regu- uh, series of banking regulations secondly it actually provides uh, the regulations uh, specifically concerning the capital risk market risk and the operational risk and the third point uh, actually says that uh, it actually ensures the financial that the financial institution must have enough capital on account to absorb unexpected losses so these are the points uh, <clears throat> many clears uh, a little bit about what the basel accounts are and uh, what does this basel accounts means so let's move on into the other slide see every basel that is the basel 1 the basel 2 and the basel 3 have their own different objectives which they usually provide so uh and what was the need of uh, introducing basel 2 and basel 3 yeah because uh, the basel 1 uh, objective was uh, limited to only maintaining the capital requirements the minimum capital requirement so there are also other factors which has to be looked so that's why the basel 2 and the basel 3 were introduced so as you can see what are the different objectives uh, uh, this basel 1 basel 2 and basel 3 are performing the basel 1 usually focuses on the capital requirements for banks the basel 2 actually uh, supervises and maintains the market discipline yeah there are actually uh, two more regulations uh, introduced uh, in the basel 2 uh, and we will be discussing about that thing uh, later on in our coming slide so and what does the basel 3 uh, provides mm, yeah it actually uh, provides 
and uh, the aim was uh, of this uh, basel 3 is to uh, making the banking activities uh, more capital intensive so let's go and uh, discuss uh, each uh, basel that is the basel 1 basel 2 and basel 3 and what purpose uh, does it serves to the banking sectors so let's go on to the basel 1 So the Basel one it actually got uh, introduced in 1988 and the main objective uh, as we discussed earlier was uh, that it uh, that the banking sector should have uh, minimum capital maintained in the banks so that uh, if uh, any losses uh, they, they get in future uh, they will recover with the help of that uh, minimum uh, capitals that they have actually maintained so basically this is the main objective of the basel one to maintain the enough capital in order to bear the risk in the future so this uh, minimum capital requirement was actually fixed at eight percent of risk weighted assets so now what is this uh, risk weighted assets so suppose uh, let us take that um, suppose the bank has uh, provided loan to some of its uh, consumers like uh, to one consumer it has provided 1000 to the other 2000 and to the third party third party not that is uh, the third consumer uh, 10000 suppose uh, the the bank uh, provided 10000 to a particular consumer um, has not submitted or has not given any collateral asset to the banking sector and in future if uh, that particular uh, third person actually doesn't pay back the loan amount and uh, yeah it will get uh, it will become a debt so that it will become a debt and uh, and uh, in and the third person that actually doesn't have then had not provided the bank with an with any asset so in that case uh, the bank will not able to recover those amounts so so for that particular time the bank should have the minimum capital so that it could recover those losses with those minimum capital and suppose the person uh, the bank uh, who lended 1000 to a particular person 2000 to a particular person and they had uh, given any asset as a collateral to the banking sector um, whether whether those are the papers of a car or papers of the building if uh, the person uh, doesn't uh, pay back the loan amount in future so that uh, the bank will be able to recover those amounts with the help of those assets so so the risk uh, those are those are actually called the risk weighted assets and uh, and on which the banks has fixed the rate at 8% so now i think uh, you are uh, clear with the idea of uh, rwa that is the risk uh, weighted asset mm. and uh, one thing you might uh, should know that uh, India uh, and actually the Basel uh, one was actually introduced in 1988 but India actually adopted the rules and regulations in 1999 and uh, the other one uh, in India actually the minimum capital requirement is uh, referred as the capital adequacy ratio both of the term has the same meaning but uh, uh, in that uh, in other countries in some of the countries it is referred as minimum capital requirement and some countries it is referred as CAR that is uh, capital adequacy ratio.